Next up is the fact that if we insist that the coverings of our sets are only via closed sets, nothing will change. Here's again a recall of the definition of the Hausdorff content and measure, and the lemma that I just rephrased is written down here. You may pause to read it carefully. That will follow from the simple fact, well, rather simple fact, that for every subset of a metric space, its diameter and the diameter of its closure are equal, which may be surprising a little bit when you first see it for the first time, given that the closure of a set may be much larger than the set itself. I'll leave it to you to imagine situations where this happens. Now, let's see how this helps us prove the lemma. So, let, let's denote um, by h bar s delta of a the quantity, the infimum you get, you will get if you allow only closed coverings. So I'm also introducing more terminology as I go. By closed covering, obviously, I mean a delta covering. Um, so this is delta covering. A delta covering with closed sets. Uh, we need to show that this h bar is delta of a equals h s delta of a. Okay, so first, let's see which one of these is bigger. When you insist on covering by only closed sets, then you allow a smaller collection of coverings. Therefore, you're taking infimum over less allowable coverings and therefore that infimum may potentially be larger so simply by definition this is bigger than or equal to hs delta of a so we need to reverse the inequality for the reverse um, let ei b a delta covering of a by any sets then ei the same sets now closure will be a delta covering so why is this still a delta covering comes from the fact that the diameter of closures does not increase so if EIs were delta covering EI closures are delta coverings of A and uh, this time by closed sets because we just made them closed so by definition this H bar S delta of A will be less than because this is infimum of uh, such summations so in particular if I take diameter of EI closures to power s i from 1 to infinity uh, but then this equals to i equal 1 to infinity diameter of EI to power s and the uh, now this was an arbitrary covering since this is true for arbitrary delta covering uh, we take infimum and get that h bar s delta of a is less than or equal to h s delta of a because the infimum of the right hand side above 
is just Hs delta A by definition. And that, that proves the reverse inequality and we're done. So insisting on taking delta coverings from closed sets does not change um, neither the content nor the Hausdorff measure itself. And that's good to know because sometimes um, you do want to cover by sets with more properties, in this case closed sets, um, may be desirable in many scenarios. Uh, how about open sets? That, that's an interesting question. This one um, is a bit different. So let H tilde S delta A be as H S delta of A, except that we insist the delta coverings to be open. So every element in the delta covering must be an open set. What we have this time is that H is delta of A, uh, sorry, H is of A, which is the limit by definition, which is the limit delta goes to H is delta of A, will be the same if we took the limit of H is delta and tilde of A. So that means, um, in general, we won't be able to prove, and it's not true, I mean, that H is tilde be equal to H S. So the contents will be different. What will not be different will be the limit. So ultimately, both produce the same Hausdorff measure, although not the same content. So for the proof of this one, I just want to give a sketch uh, because writing down the rigorous calculations is usually lengthy and uh, not that much illuminating. Everyone must do this exercise once in their lives and then forget about it. And I really encourage you to do that. So proof um, sketch is that if you Okay, so first of all, similar to the above, H tilde S delta of A is bigger than or equal to H S delta of A because, again, you take infimum over more restricted collection. Next, we the, the main point is we show something in the following lines. We show that um, H tilde S delta of A is less than or equal to H S delta of A, and of course this cannot be correct because then they would be equal, but now I put 2 delta, and 2 here can be replaced by 1.5, 1 1.1, 1 .1, uh, any 1 plus epsilon delta. And these two will be sufficient, so these two will be sufficient to prove uh, that H S of A is limit of H tilde delta S of A is delta goes to zero because uh, the first inequality will say it's uh, will, will uh, give a um, one direction of an inequality and the other one because letting delta go to zero is the same as letting two delta go to zero and the end result uh, would provide the opposite uh, 
inequality. So, so our claim would follow if we establish um, this one. And that is where the, the writing down of the proof usually becomes uh, lengthy and technical. Um, what the, the core idea, of course, is that if you have your set A and if you have arbitrary coverings, so by whatever sets, either closed or open, the idea is that you can always increase a set by a little bit in terms of diameter and uh, contain it in an open set. So every set in your covering can be fattened into an open set. So for every EI, there exists some UI, which contains EI, and then a UI is open, such that diameter of UI is um, say less than or equal to one plus epsilon times diameter of the EI itself. So um, I don't want to make it additive increase but multiplicative increase. And now the technical part, the reason actually I decided not to write down the proof is with the case of having EI have diameter zero. Yeah, that, that's an annoying technicality which can be done by separating the summation and you know it gets out of hand. Um, however with this you, you from this it would follow that okay so what we have is that this tilde is um, 2 delta because well EIs so this will be summation of diameter of UIs to the power s and i from 1 to infinity so UIs are a 2 delta covering because EIs are delta coverings and the UIs have this bound on how much the diameter has increased, definitely less than twice. So they are two delta coverings. Therefore, this um, inequality by definition of H tilde S holds. And then this will be become one plus epsilon to power S diameter of EI to power S I to infinity. So, um, we could have taken EI in the beginning so that this was estimating H, usual H as delta of A. So you would get um, this quantity is less than this one, but epsilon can be arbitrary, therefore uh, you can take it to be zero from which the inequality we wanted, this boxed inequality would follow. And uh, that would be how you, you end up proving that definition of the Hausdorff measure, not content, would not change if we insist that the coverings are open. Coverings by open sets has the additional benefit that in the case your space is compact, you can further reduce to finite coverings. Because if you have open coverings and your set or your, sub, your whole space is compact, then from every countable coverings, you can reduce to finite covering, which has, um, which can have, as you imagine, important consequences. So the final lemma for this video will be that, and that, that will be super easy without a proof, is that um, in defining H S delta of A, um, similarly, in HSA, as a consequence, we shall require EI to be also subsets of A, so so that A, uh, so usually, in the usual definition, this is covered by union of EIs,
But now we're saying that EIs themselves not cover anything outside A. Why would we want to waste some coverage, right? So that this becomes equality. And uh, that means instead of really coverings, you're, you're doing partitions of your set. So to convince yourself of why this is true, probably the following picture will suffice. Um, this is your set A and this is your covering by sets. So what you can do is just cut off everything outside your set A and now you have just the green part. Now if you covered your set by A by the reds, then you can also cover it by the greens and that the diameter of these green parts so so diameter of green is just ei so you had you begin with the usual covering and then you replace each ei by this thing and then that diameter is obviously less than the diameter of ei itself so if you have a delta covering by arbitrary ei you get a delta covering by um, say ei tildes which are now contained in a so we don't cover anything outside it and uh, usually that's not how i've seen it at least uh, probably because it's more kind of geometric and pleasing to uh, really cover a set rather than partition it and also you don't want to uh, deal with a whole new covering when you change the subset that you covered maybe you, you begin with, with one covering and then you change a set and they are still a covering of the new set so anyway but it's good to know that if you want to you can avoid seeping outside the set whose Hausdorff measure you want to compute so we will use in next video this fact that you can use coverings by closed sets to prove that the Hausdorff measure is Borel regular. So keep tuned and have a wonderful day.